speaking. Page 529. Question 3. Now listen to the conversation. Hey, Lisa, you're a business major, right? Did you read this announcement? Yeah, and I don't think the business department really thought it through. I don't think that it will help students at all. Really? Why not? Well, I don't really think that a lot of students can really afford to work for free for a whole semester. We have a lot of expenses to take care of, like books, tuition and rent. Yeah, and those things aren't getting any cheaper. Exactly. Students need regular jobs where they get a weekly paycheck. And what if you already have a job that you really enjoy? With this new policy, you're going to have to quit your regular job so you can work without pay at these internship positions. There are going to be some really upset students. Yeah, a lot of my friends already have jobs. But what about the other point they make? About this helping us after we graduate? I don't agree. How come? Well, they talked about leadership and organizational skills. But are you really going to be doing the kind of work that will teach you those kinds of skills? Think about it. In those kinds of internships, you are just there to do menial tasks. You know, just basic stuff like typing or filing documents. Oh, so you wouldn't really learn anything new? Nothing very meaningful. You're going to gain a lot more experience from working a regular job than from these internships that they're going to make us do. I think it's much better for our future careers to work at a regular job than wasting our time in these internships doing tasks that we already know how to do. Hmm. I see what you mean. Now answer the following question. You have 30 seconds to prepare an answer and 60 seconds to give your spoken response. The woman expresses her opinion of the business department's new policy. State her opinion and explain the reasons she gives for holding that opinion. 